Kate Jam, Mrs. Faith and Alfie here, and I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday morning or whenever you're watching us here on the YouTube channel. Now, we're going to do our regular Kitch Jam. We're going to do two songs and we're going to do a Bible story. This week, we are talking about thankful still that God hears our prayers. You know, it's very important to remember that God hears our prayers. It may not always be when we want him to answer our prayers, but he still hears them. So, with that in mind, our Bible story is going to be following that. But before we do our Bible story, we have to do worship. We're going to do two songs today. We're going to go back to doing two songs. And then next month in December, I'm actually introducing a new song. So we're going to do one song again. But we're going to do two songs for a little bit for these next couple weeks. So we're going to do Won't Worry About a Thing. And we're going to do This Little Light. Now, this little light we haven't done in a while, but I hope you guys remember the motions. If not, it's okay. It's okay. We mess up. That's fine. But God still loves us anyway and loves that we worship him. So if everyone can stand up, make sure you have some room, make sure you have some space, and let's dive into worship.
being thankful, thankful that God still hears our prayers. You know, a lot of the times, a lot of us forget to pray to God. You know, we always think, oh, like, we got this. We don't need to pray to God. But that's not always true. And, you know, other people may think, well, God knows everything, so why do we have to pray? And, yes, God does know everything, and so he knows exactly what you need. But, it's not always about the prayer aspect. It's about having faith in God. It's believing that God will provide. That's where prayer comes in. Because when we pray, we have faith that God will provide the thing that we pray for. And a perfect example of that is the story. In Matthew 5, Matthew 8, 5 through 13, it's called a captain's faith. And we're going to dive into the story. So if you want to follow along, again, you're in Matthew 8, 5 through 13. Let's dive into the word. Jesus came down the mountain to a nearby city. Crowds of people gathered to see him. An army captain said, Lord Jesus, my servant is very sick. Please, will you help him? Jesus said, I will go to your house and heal him. The captain replied, you don't need to go to my house. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. Jesus was amazed. I have not found anyone whose faith is so strong, he said. Then Jesus said to the captain, go, your servant is healed. The captain ran home and he was happy to see his servant well again. So, that was a lot. But also not really. But let's unpack it. So, Jesus came down from a mountain and he was in this city. And a bunch of people were around him. And one of these people was an army captain. And he was like, Lord, like, my servant's sick. Can you, like, you know, pray for him that he would get healed? And Jesus was like, oh, I could just go with you and we can go to your house. And the captain's like, no, like, I know that you're all-powerful and all-knowing. You can heal him in the very moment that you're in. And Jesus was like, yeah, like, you have very strong faith. And so he prayed and he said, go, like, your servant's healed. And the captain went home and sure enough, the servant was healed. And you're probably wondering, how does that relate to my life? And I'll tell you. When we pray to God, we have faith that things will happen. Now, not everything happens the way that we want it to happen. Not everything happens the way, and not everything happens that instantly. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. But that's okay. Because, you know, when we have faith in God, God will always follow through may not always be instant like in that prayer but god always not only he does he hear our prayers but he's also following through again easier said than done to have faith in him easier said than done to say a prayer you know but when we pray to god he hears us and you know god's always there for us 
He's right next to us. And it's easy for us to, again, push him aside and be like, hey, look, I don't need you. I got this. I'm going to do this on my own. And that's what's so great about that captain was, you know, I'm pretty sure he probably should have ran and get medicine or brought in a doctor or stuff like that. But he didn't. He went to Jesus because he knew that Jesus would heal him. And it's the same thing for us. You know, yes, we do need doctors and we do need medication and we need all that stuff. But sometimes when it when it comes to things out of our control, it's always good to say a prayer. Because God will always provide and always keep us safe. Okay, it's not always the way that we think. It's not always a clear answer. And sometimes he might have you go through this, but there's always a reason for it. God is all powerful, all knowing. But sometimes, and it's hard to hear, sometimes God has us through something to use it for later on. You know, Sometimes God's using the moment that you have to help you in the future. And again, easier said than done. Easier heard than lived by. But when you trust in him and you pray to him, he'll be there for you. It's not always the way that you think. It's not always the way that you see it or want it. But he's there for you. So let's take the moment and pray to God. All your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you that you hear our prayers. We thank you that you provide. We thank you that you are a loving God. I pray that you would just help us with any circumstances that we're going through. I pray that you would just be with us and guide us and protect us through everything. Help us, Lord, in your holy and precious name. Amen. All right, Kishan, I'll see you next week. Bye.